Well, look at what we got going on here. So today, I'm gonna remove the soft top on the Bronco. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, yo, that was pretty dumb of you to wait until it snowed before deciding to remove the soft top. And to that, I say, yep. I meant to take off this soft top back in November during the Thanksgiving holiday, but I didn't have my Bronco on the Thanksgiving holiday. It was sitting at the dealership getting my sway bar disconnect fixed. And then, uh, then it never snows. Ski season got off to a slow start, and then the holidays happened, and. I got busy and blah, 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 blah. And it just, it never happened. Well, guess what? Ski season is finally looking up. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this soft top today. So what is this exactly? Well, it is the best top Skyrider. And it is essentially a partial soft top replacement for your Bronco. So if you're familiar with the four door Bronco factory hardtop, you have the rear shell right here. You can see that's still on the Bronco. Then you have a middle panel and two front panels. The Best Top Skyrider basically replaces the front three panels and it gives you kind of a hybrid soft top, hard top sort of thing. Um, it comes in two varieties, comes in twill and vinyl. This is the twill soft top. It's a really cool idea. I really like the product. If you want to see uh, installation and initial impressions, I got a video for that. I'll link that somewhere. But it's just not working for me. Um, and that sucks, because I actually really like it, but we're gonna take it off today. So to take this thing off, you will need some Torx bits, Torx Plus, I believe. Um, I don't remember which ones, but it should be the same ones you used to install it. And you should already have it, because you installed it, right? So, there you go. I think it's Torx Plus, I mean, judging by the rust, <laughs> it's stupid. I'm gonna have to get a new set, this is garbage. Um, judging by the rust, it's one of the bigger sizes, so probably Torx Plus 50, 45, 40, maybe even 30. We'll see. Um, you'll also need your factory brackets. It's one for the left hand and one for the right hand side. Um, and then obviously some sort of tool to get the, get the bolts out. Let's go. All right. Pop this down. Oh, can I reach? Come here, you. Bingo. Oh, is it frozen? Nope, it's not frozen. I just didn't push hard enough. Let's reacquaint myself with this product. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Can you guys see that? This is the weather stripping. It's starting to disintegrate. That's no bueno. Is it? Oh, it's stuck on here. That's a, uh, hmm, is the other side like that too? Yeah, it is, you can barely see it. Take a look at this. Yeah, it's disintegrating, bad. Huh. Ooh, what is this? What is that? A BB? What's that from? It's not that. Oh, is it this cable? Ooh. Does that side have one? Yeah. Huh. The cable on this side has a little stop on it to prevent it from being pulled through, as well as this one's got it too. This one's got it too. This one broke. See? That is. Now I could probably fix it. It just looks like solder, so I could probably fix it. But that's. That's, uh, that's a little concerning. That kind of changes the tone of my video. I was gonna praise this thing for how good it was, but now I'm not so sure. So I'm gonna take these screws out. These are, there's two on each side. These, um, well, judging by the rust, these are T30. I don't actually remember, but we'll, we'll see. Yep, T30. I know you can't really see what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to get the driver in there, but once you get it in there, it's not too bad. Oop. Got it. All right. Bring that back. All right, pop off this Velcro here. Of 
cool. Now we just got the frame. This guy is a Torx, Torx Plus 30. Oh, why am I doing this the hard way? I don't know why I'm doing this the hard way. I have a tool to do it the easy way and I chose to do it the hard way. Come here, you. Part spin. And then if memory serves, we have more, ooh, bonk my head on the crossbar real quick. We have these guys up here. Those are not 30. Those must be 40, Torx plus 40. Okay. That's right there. Ooh, force powers. Nope. Okay. Ooh, that's way too high. Let's let's slow your roll there, man. We're not trying to we're not trying to kill anyone. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, guess what? It's starting to sleep. Isn't that awesome? Guess who didn't. Uh, Guess who didn't check the weather? Me, that was me. All right, we're gonna have to speed run the rest of this, so keep up. We'll see exactly how long it takes to do this, I guess. Nope, come back here, you. There's one, I don't know how anybody Unless they got tiny fingers. Oop, there we go. There's one. Okay, other side. Yeah, this the rain definitely adds to the urgency of this whole thing. I must say, it's adding a nice... Yeah, got it. Oh my god, yeah, got it! Woohoo! Okay. So now that whole cloth part should just slide right off. That side's free. This side is free. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. It's done. This is going to be a little hectic. Yep. All right. Let's do this. Got to spin all these guys off. And we gotta do it quick. All right. Done. Those are bigger ones. Those are all bigger. Those are all bigger. Okay. Get the bigger guy. comes off. This has to be reused. This comes off. This has to be reused. This gets reused. Um, and then this guy up front gets reused. Okay, this whole side should be free. Did I miss anything? You. Okay, you're free. Other side. All right, let's go to town. One, two, three, four. And five. That whole thing should be free. Doesn't move. Yes, it does. Almost. I need to get the small guys out. All right, you shall come out. I have determined that you must come out. Here's 
you're out. Cool. Are we free? I think we are. We are free. We're free. Free at last. Ah, oh, that's a good thing. It's a recognized interior. That's all I gotta say. Ow! Did I miss one? What are we stuck on, my friends? No, we're not. We're not stuck on anything. Oh, there we go. Done. Now this is gonna be dangerous. Don't scratch the Bronco, don't scratch the Bronco. Don't scratch the Bronco. One, two, three. Winning. Now, you guys should come off next. Get you guys out of the way. There, done with you and you. One, two, three. Cool. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, let's get some screws in and we'll get this Bronco back together ASAP. And need you. Force. For oh. Man, Jedi powers. Let me tell you, Jedi powers would be sweet. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Cool. Now we need the plates. We need these guys. And if memory serves, they go like this. One. Two. Okay, let's go get the hard tops. <laughs> get these on. Da, 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 da. Okay, this obviously was not part of my master plan for today, but uh, you know, poop happens, I guess. Okay, so obviously now there is a giant hole in the middle of the Bronco that I'm gonna have to plug. And in order to do that, I have to get that bracket off. And in order to get that bracket off, I have to take the whole hard top off. So, fun, let's go. One, two, three, four. Four. All right, now all you Get out of my way. You're gonna get wet. Get out of my way. And push up. Okay. That should be enough to access that bracket. Wow, that was very loud. And I lost a screw. Okay, now there's a little baggie in here that says best top soft top screws does anybody know where that went anyone anyone at all no is it back here aha all right these go back in okay done dun 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 put the hard top back our top is back. Sweet. Now let's go get the other panel. Put it all together. Okay. Uh, the middle panel is kind of a two a two person job, to be honest with you. But we're gonna do it. One person as usual, because you know stupidity. All right, in, 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 in. 
in, in, in. Okay, rest of the panels now. Whoa, ladder, don't kill myself. Let's not do that. I made it this far. Let's not, let's not make it worse. I am wet. I am wet and cold. Wet and cold. Freaking wet and cold. One more panel. One more panel. Wet and cold. Wet and cold. Get on there, you. Play nice, please. Thank you. It's much obliged. Okay. Wet and cold. Wet and cold. Wet and cold. Oop. Come on. Get up. Shut up. I know you're wet. I'm wet too. And time. Holy sh Nikes. That was... I don't recommend that at all. That was rough. Um, I need a break. I'll be back. <laughs> all right, that's awesome. So I suspect there are very few of you that would be excited by that, but that's actually my sump pump draining my basement, which is more than it did over the Christmas holidays. So awesome stuff. It's the next day. See, there's snow. I know you probably don't believe me, but it literally is the next day. We got three inches of warm spring rain last night in the middle of January. So, uh, winter's gone. In other news, I got a recall nose from Ford. Yay! Uh, uh, th those of you who own a Ford will be well aware of these things. We get these things uh, all the time. More often than we should. I'll just say that. I don't even know what this recall is for. It could be for the Escape of the Bronco. Who knows? But we'll, um, we'll look at that guy later because we got stuff to do. So remember that tiny, tiny little BB that broke off and I found it embedded in the weather stripping right here? Um, yeah, so it turns out, uh, while well, I was reviewing the footage yesterday to see how I could possibly save this crapshoot of a video, it turns out I didn't actually secure that little tiny BB. And instead, I, in my haste to put the hardtop back on, I chucked it off the Bronco, which means the BB is somewhere on this driveway. So... Yep, go me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I get lucky. I won't lie, after a while it just kind of all, kind of all just blends together into a giant blackish brownish mush. Oh wait, 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 is this it? Oh, 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 oh. Does this mean I should like buy a lottery ticket today? I don't actually know. Okay, so here's the plan. Um, I obviously put this together in a hurry yesterday. So, missing a few bolts, nothing's torqued properly. The panels don't line up properly. Some of the weather stripping is a little goofy. I don't even know if this is, is watertight, to be honest with you. We'll, we'll find out in a second. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the whole thing apart, let it all dry out, let it air out, put it all back together properly. And then while I do that, I'm gonna explain why I probably will not be ever putting the best top back on this Bronco. And no, it has, it has absolutely nothing to do with this stupid little BB that broke. All right, so to explain why I will not be putting the best top back on, I kind of need to explain what this Bronco is for me. For me, this is a family, a family vacation vehicle. Um, I do not use it for daily driving. I have the focus for that. This is, this is purely for vacations with my family. So what does that mean? That means uh, long three hour road trips inside of the Bronco with wife, two kids, uh, maybe a future dog, but right now just the wife and two kids. Oh, come on. Those road trips are obviously largely on the interstate traveling 65 to 80 miles per hour if I go to Texas. Um, I will, I've only been to Texas once, but you know, 80 miles per hour. And the soft top, as everybody knows, is uh, kind of noisy. It's not very quiet at all. I obviously knew this going in, so my fault. I did not expect it to be as impactful as it was. It's just, um, well, okay, so let's be honest. The Bronco itself is a pretty noisy vehicle. It's not very well sound insulated. That's kind of, that's kind of the price you pay for it being an off-road vehicle with a lightweight removable shell, right? So you know that going into it, 
So I was fully prepared to deal with that extra noise with the soft top, and I thought it would be, I thought it would be perfectly manageable. Well, it turns out that it's kind of hard to talk to your family when the soft top is so loud. And when you're on three hour road trips on the interstate, you kind of want to talk to your family. Now, I will say if it's just you and your wife and you don't have kids or if you don't have anybody that's going to ride in the back seat, it's perfectly manageable to have a conversation with just the two of you up front. It's only when you add back seat passengers that it, it becomes a little tricky. You gotta, they gotta really speak up and then you're yelling at each other. And then, you know, after three hours of yelling at each other, you just don't want to yell at each other anymore. And you basically just sit in silence for the remainder of the trip. So that's reason one. Speaking of loud and windy, it's actually pretty windy today. So apologies for the crappy audio. It actually works out in my benefit because uh, this, this will dry out quicker with the wind, but it's probably gonna result in garbage audio for you guys. So, sorry. Oh gosh, there's a camera in my head. I forgot about it. This is the hardest part. Oh. Winning. Reason number two is that I, uh, I live with all girls. I don't know how that happened. Apparently I only shoot X's. There are no Y's to be found, but uh, I'm the only guy in the house other than the cat, but you know, the cat hates riding in the car anyways. So when I bought this thing, I was working under the impression that my daughters would love this. And uh, cause I love it, right? So my daughter's gotta like it. Well, it turns out if you got, ooh, look at that. Found you. And uh, girls, for those who don't live with any, uh, they have hair, they have lots of hair. But it turns out if you have a lot of hair, it's really freaking annoying when it starts whipping around in your face. And uh, when you have the best top Skyrider flip back, that's exactly what happened. It just, you look in the back seat when I'm riding with the top down and they, it looks like they're in a cyclone. So uh, the daughters don't like it. The wife doesn't like it either. The only person that actually likes it is me, which is a problem considering this is a family vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off and make sure there's not a whole bunch of water trapped underneath them. There shouldn't be, but you never know. I should have saw that coming. <laughs> I'm smarter than you. The third reason is more of a, a me problem. Um, I always have stuff in my Bronco. My Bronco, I don't know what it is. It's because I don't have a garage is honestly what it is. But I always have crap in my Bronco. And the moment you open the best top Skyrider, anything that is not strapped down or heavy will just start flying around everywhere. And uh, yes, I mean, again, it's a, it's a me problem. I could fix that just by cleaning out the Bronco every so often. But then I have to make a conscious effort to clean out the Bronco before I use the soft top. And uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm not that kind of guy. I wasn't going to take off this shell, but um, I think I'm going to anyway. Just case, I mean, I was in a rush yesterday and I wanna make sure that it's all seated properly. So we'll go ahead and take it off. Not all the way. We'll just, I hate this connector by the way. Fucking God damn it. All right, got you. Where the heck did I put my impact? Oh, it's up there. Get it back up, back up, back up, okay. Oh, why is there water here? Hmm, 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 are we leaking at the window? I don't think we're leaking up top. I wonder if we're leaking at the window. Or maybe it's just leftover water from yesterday's adventure. So I don't know, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Now, I think I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but if you're, I don't recommend doing this solo, I really don't. But if you are, and I know a lot of you are because I'm doing it solo, make sure, make sure you lift it up at the edge, not in the middle, at the edge. The heaviest part of the hardtop is this window. So the center of gravity is roughly here. Got it? Okay. 
Now I'm gonna be extra careful with this because of the wind right now. Okay. All right, see how we're doing. Let us dry under here. I don't think this really matters because this can just get wet again, let's be honest. But we'll, we'll do our best. Let's pop this puppy back on. I'm looking at the locator pins. There's one up front, there's one in the back, there's one on each side. I'm just lining those up, more or less. Oh, good on that side. Good on that side, good, cool. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You know what I should do while we got the whole thing apart? We should, we should apply some weather stripping dressing to this to, to keep the weather seals fresh. I'm gonna do that. Let me go get the, the stuff. So I use this 303 rubber seal protectant. I don't know if it's any good or not. This was actually recommended to me by several people on the Bronco C 6G form. And it seems to be, it seems to be decent. So I'm gonna keep using it until it stops working. First you, it's really, this wind is really picking up. Whoa, come on. First I just clear off, clear, clear off, clean off the old seals. I'm just using detail spray. I don't, again, I don't know if this is, I'm sure actually soap and water would work just fine. Not like hardcore soap, just like Dawn dish soap. And then we just apply. I bet you this weather seal here is gonna be the first one that has to be, first one has to be replaced. Hopefully, you know, uh, 10 years from now and not two years from now, but we'll see. And then uh, rinse repeat on everything. So all the hard top panels, as well as the front weather stripping here, and you should be good. And I'm a captain or something like that. So climb aboard. There's something about tomorrow on every shore. Sticks, it's good stuff. Even if I don't know the words, still good stuff. All right, we are, we're close. Let's go ahead and, and spin these hard top bolts back on real quick, and then we'll torque them appropriately this time. Am I on the lowest setting? Yes, okay. It's pretty easy to rip the threads on this, so if you're gonna be using an impact like I am, lowest setting, definitely use the lowest setting. This, these bolts are only on the four-door, by the way. Wow. I guess if you're watching this video, you probably have a four-door. Anyway, because they don't make a Skyrider for the two-door. They make a Sunrider, though. Okay, so all four, not four, all eight, nine, ten, all ten bolts on the hardtop, as well as these brackets up here. These guys up top, we got these brackets here, as well as these brackets up front. Everything for the hardtop is all t 20 newton meters which i don't know what that is in foot pounds but give me a second looks like 15. so 20 newton meters 15 foot pounds where'd happen my bit oh i put it in my pocket oh i'm smart all right torque time cool so the next reason why i probably We'll never use the best top again is because um, I have a Troex roof rack, which if you saw my earlier videos was on the Bronco. Actually, hold that thought for a second. So let me explain this. I'm leaving these brackets loose for now. And the reason why is because the hard top panels have little locator pins on them. You can't, I'm pointing at them. I don't know if you can see them or not, um, but they have little locator pins and those locator pins will help me locate the correct positioning for those brackets. Once I have that top on, I'll, I'll know what the correct positioning for the bracket is, and then I can tighten everything down. All right, cool. These right here are the locator pins I'm talking about. There's, there's, you know, four on the middle panel, and then actually these, the front panels also have their own locator pins. So we're gonna have to do 
a similar song and dance once we get to the front panels. Um, what way I want? That is the back. Okay. Oh, I hit my head again. You guys are gonna be jostled around a little bit while I do this, so sorry. All right, let's go ahead and pop this on. Oh, come on. Why are you out? Okay, there we go. So now, let's, uh, <gasps> all right, hold on. I got to get a thing to stand on. Okay, so I'm just visually checking to make sure everything is lined up and looks good and there's no, like, obvious gigantic gaps in the weather stripping. And it does. It looks good. So, with it looking good, I'll go ahead and tighten it down. And other side. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Let's tighten these while I'm up here. Why not? All right. So now that that's looking, looking nice, got to take it off again and tighten the rest of the screws. Now there's always a chance that um, everything shifted around a little bit when I remove that hard top, but we're going to hope that everything stuck where it's supposed to go. And last guy. Cool. Put the whole thing back together. All right. So back to my previous thought. I was talking about the uh, Trurex roof rack. So the last reason, I don't know what reason is, number five, number four, number five. The last reason why I'm probably never going to put the best top back is because I have a roof rack. And I use the roof rack in the summer for camping and in the winter for skiing which means I only can use the soft top portion in the spring and fall. The problem with the spring where I live is there's really only uh, like two run modes for the spring. <laughs> um, you either got rain, lots and lots of rain, or you got lots and lots of pollen. And uh, to be honest, I don't really care to cover the inside of my Bronco with a fine layer of white, yellowish, whitish, yellowish dust from all the pollen in the air. And obviously I'm not going to use it in the rain. So that leaves really only one season. The only season I can actually use the best top soft top and enjoy it somewhat is in the fall. So what is that? Two, two months out of the year, two to three months out of the year, depending on weather, especially here in New England. Um, and you know, it's just, it's not worth it not worth it at all now obviously uh it's very dependent on where you live if you live in the southwest where i used to live where i grew up uh obviously the soft top life has a lot more appeal so for you guys you can uh, obviously use the soft top pretty much year round and for you the best top sky rider might make a lot of sense but for me it just doesn't. It's it's unfortunate, but it doesn't. Okay. Oh, oh, hit you guys again. Did we get lucky again? We got lucky again. Sweet, sweet, sweet baby Jesus. All right, you're in, you're in. You're in, done. How are gaps looking? Gaps are looking fine. How are we looking on the outside? Outside's looking fine. How are we looking up top? Cool. 
Very cool. We're we're done, guys. Good stuff. And that will conclude the best top Skyrider chapter of the Bronco, um, or at least this Ford Bronco. It's a product I really wanted to like. I really thought it was a great idea. It seems higher quality. I mean, I did have some quality issues. I showed you all the quality issues I had. I don't know if those issues are enough of a deal breaker for me, but obviously it's up to you. Uh, for me, it's just more about it not fitting into my life and what I need to do with this Bronco. So it's a shame, but it is what it is. That'll be it. As usual, Bronco Nation, Bronco 6G4, Bronco subreddit. Feel free to reach out. I will catch you on the next one. Later, guys. If this is like the seatbelt latch recall, I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. Your vehicle is equipped with protection features to prevent damage to the wiper motor in case of overheating, blah, 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 blah. In such conditions, the wiper motor may restrict the speed of the windshield wiper, reducing the area clean. Hmm. I don't think I've ever had a problem with that wiper motor, but at least it's more legit than the seatbelt latch. <laughs>